This is part of the new kind of advertising that it can't just be about the product. It has to be about the movement behind the product, uh, you know, and they're but this is I don't want to be sound too cynical here, but they are still trying to raise awareness about their own brands as much as they are about COVID, right? Yeah, so brands right now, they have to be mindful. Well, they should be mindful of spending after what we've been through for the past year, but they still want to get the brand out. And uh, personally, you know, they're taking a lot of this money. The average cost for a 30-second ad during the Super Bowl is $5.5 million. So they're taking part of that money and they're putting it towards this campaign about vaccine awareness where they possibly maybe could put half of that into an ad and then the other half into maybe helping small businesses and really making an impact on what's affecting Americans. So uh, they're torn. And and the reality is, is the Super Bowl is a time for people to sit back and kind of forget about what's happening. And they do look forward to some of those ads. John, what do you think? Well, I have a little bit different take on this. When they say it's not about the target market, it's all about the target market. And the little secret here is that uh, they may not be promoting Budweiser, which skews with a target, uh, an older target market and less affluent and more conservative demographic. And it's spending money on other brands, four minutes worth, on Bud Light, Bud Light Seltzer Lemonade, Michelob Ultra, and Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, which are hot among younger viewers. John, how do you like that one? You are you getting paid for this? <laughs> are you getting paid for this commercial right here? Because that was a great spot right no. there, throwing it back old school. <laughs> you know, Allison, whatever happened to, uh, why can't my beer just be a beer anymore? I, I just want it to taste good, that's all. Yeah, you, you got to have a story around it, John. There's got to be a story behind every ad. And, and <laughs> I mean, obviously, John Tantillo, he knows all of the lines there that that organic seltzer. I haven't even heard about that yet. <laughs> organic alcoholic <laughs> seltzer if you're concerned yeah. about your health. Yeah, but, but you know what? I, I know a lot of brands, you know, have pulled out of ads. But you know what brand is going to be advertising? You know what company? Robin Hood. They're doing an ad for Super Bowl. This is a great way for them to get their ad and their 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 voice out there. Yeah, you know, if forty thousand dollars too, John, for a Super Bowl ticket this year. I know you're going, right? Uh, I'm not on your life. (laughs) I'm one of those older folks that has to be careful about all of those concerns that our good doctors tell us about. Well, we'll be watching on TV. I'm going to try to stay awake. I usually don't make it past (laughs) 8.30 or so. But anyway, Allison, John, great to see you both. We'll see you soon.